People say you grow up with your childhood. As for me, my first memory about a good drink is milk tea. There is a milk tea shop right in front of my school, and it only cost ten Taiwanese dollars to get a bubble milk tea, which is like around twenty cent of U.S. dollars, and you can get milk and tea, and a lot of chewy and yummy bubble inside. So every day after school. I passed by the milk tea shop and I got to buy one. That is the moment that gave me anticipation of my life. Drinking culture is massive in Asians' everyday life. Drink is our life. You can find drink everywhere on the street. There's milk tea shop in every corner. There's soy milk in every breakfast shop, and there's star fruit juice, smoked plum juice, in all the night markets. And behind every drink, there is agriculture. For Western countries, the grain in Scotch whiskey or the juniper. In gin or the agave in tequila, they're all agriculture. So to think deeper into a drink, what you are actually drinking is the spirit of the land. Comparing Western and Asian bartenders, what are the differences? Why are we doing this now? I think the most different part is for the Western countries, this cocktail culture has been happening for hundreds of years, and for us, it's just the beginning. For all these years, we're just learning what the American classics, the Western classic cocktails. We're acquiring, we're getting familiar with the ingredients from the Western world, and we're doing stuff the way how they teach us. And I think from now on, we should focus more on our own stuff. We have to create our own style. We have to create our drinks. I think what defines me is my appreciation to humble drinks and easy flavor. Like for me, all the comfort food it doesn't need to belong to each separate country. I enjoy pad thai from Thailand. I enjoy pho from Vietnam. I enjoy ramen from Tokyo. I enjoy them not because they're from the foreign countries. I enjoy them because they're all Asian flavor, and they all use the spices or the ingredients. That we are familiar with, we are so close to these ingredients that it doesn't need to be separate by different countries. And I wish one day the drink scene could be the same. We could have more diversity in terms of drinks. We can use all the ingredients we share together and create a drink that we can share in all Asia. I love to express local ingredients. I want to create the modern taste of Asia. So in my cocktails, there is star fruit, wax apple, smoked plum, guava. These are all Asian ingredients, and these are all the flavors we are familiar for. And if somebody say these drinks are not fancy, but some Scotch whiskey with Italian mousse are fancier, that's all because somebody told you so. And I disagree. Let's admit, being in this industry could be boring. People expect you to learn so many stuff, 
how to shave the ice, how to wash the glasses, or how to shake or stir your cocktails. There are so many techniques to learn. But a lot of times, I went to some bars and taste some cocktail that meet the standard of the techniques. I didn't feel the soul inside the drink. There is something lost here. And if the cocktails cannot make people happy and enjoy, then there is no point learning these techniques at all. So people say, I do cocktails differently. But what I think is, if the path in front of you is clear, then you're probably doing something that has already been done. So when I entered the bartender world class competition, I was only 24, and I only worked behind the bar for six months. But at the final, I won the champion, and I become the best bartender in my country. And at this point, I know I need to find that relationship between me and my cocktails. There's so many stories and could be so many cultural meaning behind every drinks that I know I have no time to waste making drinks that doesn't relate to me. So one of the cocktails I use scallion inside. The scallion is this common Asian ingredient that could be appear in every Asian dishes. It's inside the soup, on top of meat, it could be with rice and noodles, it could be everywhere. So then one day I decided to use scallion inside my cocktail. And I do some research and pair with some ingredients. And then I taste the cocktail and it tastes cool. That is exactly what I wanted to do. That is exactly what I mean about modern taste of Asia. I'm not being nostalgia, and I'm not being traditional. I'm being innovative, turning these Asian ingredients into something that people never taste before, and yet they are so familiar. What does modern taste of Asia mean? It means the drinks that only we could make. It summarizes our past, our future, our culture. And if you ask me why I make cocktail, that is the answer. <laughs>